Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you the simplest way to study and memorize the congenital adrenal hyperplasia. This pathway is simply made to convert cholesterol into either aldosterone, cortisol, or sex hormones. The first step is always the same, and it is the conversion of cholesterol into pregnenolone. And depending on the body physiological need, the pathway can go to the right, the middle, or the left. The right pathway synthesizes sex hormones, the middle synthesizes cortisol, and the left synthesizes aldosterone. So for example, if somebody is having a lot of physical stress, like infections, we need a lot of cortisol. So the pathway is mainly targeted to, towards the middle. And if someone is going through puberty, the pathway is mainly targeted toward the right, towards making more and more sex hormones. Let's start with the left pathway and make some aldosterone. Pregnenolone will be converted into progesterone, which will be converted into 11 deoxycorticosterone and then into corticosterone and then into aldosterone. But let's say that we want to make some cortisol. The pregnenolone will be converted into 17 hydroxypregnenolone and then into 17 hydroxyprogesterone and then into 11 deoxycortisol and then into cortisol. And if we want to make some testosterone, we'll first have to convert the pregnenolone into 17 hydroxypregnenolone again, then into DHEA, and then into the weak androstenedione, and then into testosterone. And of course, the testosterone can easily be converted into estrogen. Now let's see the enzymes that are used. The very first step is the conversion of cholesterol into pregnenolone. And this is done by the enzyme cholesterol dismolase. This enzyme's activity can increase using ACTH or decrease using ketoconazole. The conversion of progesterone into 11 deoxycorticosterone is done by the enzyme 21 hydroxylase. And the same enzyme facilitates the conversion of 17 hydroxyprogesterone into 11 deoxycortisol. Simply remember that the enzyme that starts with 21 makes the products that starts with 11. So 21, 11. And we have another very important enzyme, 11 beta hydroxylase. And this converts the 11 components into their end results. 11 beta hydroxylase can be blocked by metoropon. The third and final most important enzyme is 17 hydroxylase. This enzyme simply hydroxylizes or added the hydroxyl group into pregnenolone or progesterone. So it simply converts pregnenolone into 17 hydroxypregnenolone or progesterone into 17 hydroxyprogesterone. And this enzyme is very important. We'll explain why in a second. And finally, in the sex hormones pathway, we have two enzymes that are very important. Aromatase synthesizes estrogens from testosterone, and the 5-alpha reductase converts testosterone into the very potent and effective dihydrotestosterone. Aromatase can be blocked by anastrozole and letrozole. 5-alpha reductase can be blocked by finasteride. 